All right, we have another one where we want to find the derivative using the limit process. This time our function is f of x equals negative 5. We're going to follow this formula to find the derivative. And then once we're done with that, we'll plug in negative 100 to get the answer. So first we're going to do the uh, derivative following this process. Okay, so the derivative is equal to the limit. h goes to 0. Let's plug everything all in. We're going to do f of x plus h. Now, our original function is just negative 5. If I put x plus h in here, there's no x to put that into, which means that I'm always going to get negative 5 no matter what. So any number, anything I put in there always will give me negative 5. So I'm just going to put that in. Negative 5 would go in here for f of x plus h. I have a minus, and then I'm going to put in f of x. Well, f of x is this formula right here, negative 5. So I have that. That's going to be over h. When I simplify this, I'm going to get 0 on top. That's negative 5 plus 5, so I get 0 over h, which equals 0. So what that tells us is that the derivative, in this case, if my original one, f of x, is negative 5, my derivative is equal to 0. So if I try and find the derivative of 100, that's also going to be 0. Now one thing I want to point out here is that let's suppose that this was a different number. Let's suppose that f of x was, let's say, 4. Well, I would have 4 minus negative 4 here, I would still get 0. So what's happening here is you're noticing that anytime I put in some kind of constant, my derivative is always going to be 0. Now why is that the case? Well, let's take a look at the, the graph that we have for this particular one. I have f of x equals negative 5. What is that? Well, that's a horizontal line going through at negative 5. I mentioned that a derivative is the same thing as a slope. So what is this saying? It's basically asking me what is the slope of a horizontal line. It's always going to be 0 no matter what. So anytime you have a function equal to a constant, the answer for derivative is always going to be 0, no matter what, because it's just asking you to find the slope of a horizontal line. Again, that's always going to be 0.